I am, I am Beecher Studios 121 here. I just got a motherfucking huge package. I don't know what the fuck's in it, but let's find out. So, it's the iWatch. Yeah! So, let's look at the actual package. I mean, and there's not really a cover to it, which kind of is weird, you know? I mean, it's being held together by tape, so it... it I don't know. It looks really cool, though. I mean... Don't get me wrong, it's the 16 gig version. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I don't remember paying for it. But someone gave me a $350 watch, and I'm gonna look at it. So... I guess I gotta open it. Oh, or I could do that. Take the tape off, you know. And we got the thing, which is already on. Oh, oh it's a 740, which. Hang on. It is 737. Hmm, you're ahead. That's okay. So, um, what is this watch, you say? Why did I get it, you say? Well, it looked really cool on the website. And I thought, if I had the money, why not buy it, you know? Yeah. So, the main function of this watch is that it can basically do what an iPhone does. Yeah, I mean, you could switch the bands and whatnot, but I can't seem to take mine off. <clears throat> but anyways, but... Besides that, the watch is a really, really, really good watch. It's waterproof, according to this. It's, um, has, uh, like, four buttons on it. Although, I don't know how well touchscreen is. I mean, I'm touching it, nothing's happening. I'll have to look into that, but... I think it works, it's just not turned on or something, I don't know. But it does have this awesome feature. Hang on. This. It glows! Oh, you can't see it that great. Hang on. So, I know you can't see it that great, but it's still a beautiful watch. Now, let's go and try to pair it with my iPhone 6. Let's take the case off, you know, it gets better reception, you know. This is the iPhone 6. Yes, it is. It says iPod because I don't know why it says iPod, but it does. So we're going to go to the settings. Oh, God, that's bright. Um, go to the settings. First, we're going to turn on the brightness. Yeah. Oh, well. But, um, yeah, we're going to go to the settings. And we're going to go to, dang it, we're going to go to Bluetooth. And we're going to see what this baby can do. We're waiting. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. So I guess the Bluetooth doesn't work. That's okay. This watch is still an amazing piece of jewelry. I mean, it's it's perfectly made. I mean, the work they put into this, it's amazing. I mean, this set, whatever screen they use is amazing. I mean, you can just do this. It doesn't do anything. It's so fucking amazing. You know? And, well... You may be saying, why did I buy the iWatch? Well, I heard all its awesome features. And I heard also it has a heart monitor thingy on it. So I'm going to put it on, and I'm going to measure my heart rate. Or whatever the fuck it's, it is. So let's put it on. Come on. There we go. Whoop! 
works. Works great. It has a whole bunch of adjustable sizes. I mean, mine, like I said, you cannot take the you cannot take these off for some reason. But I don't care. I mean, it's okay still. But it has multiple sizes that fit all, all yes, all of them. This is like the sport edition, you know, and sport edition does have a smaller screen. But I didn't buy the other one because <laughs> who needs the other one, you know? But um. What else this thing also has is, I heard it has it's like this thing where you can talk to your friends with it, kind of like, you know, PictoChat on the DS. That was a bad reference. But, um, you know, you can make it beep. Doesn't do anything, but you can make it beep. You can make it beep. Yes, that's a different button. You can change the mode that's awesome I've never been able to do that on a phone or a watch before it's so awesome you can use the brightness or if you hold them all down you can like do this awesome thing where you can make your own fucking time holy shit that blew my mind but anyways the last thing I love about the eye a watch Yes, see, I watch is it's incredible screen. I mean, I already talked about screen, but it's, it's incredible battery life. I mean, damn, this thing lasts a long time. It even lasts under 50 meters of water. Holy shit! But it, it looks so fucking awesome. I mean, I'm gonna show you the battery. Wait, no, I'm not. Or am I? No, I'm not. But anyways, it looks like an amazing thing. Now we're going to do a few tests here. And yes, this is a pocket knife. See. Oh, yeah. It's not that scratch resistant, but it's okay. I mean, if you can see all the scratches right around this area. It's not that scratch resistant, but, you know, it's still a good watch. So just don't get it scratched up a lot, and you'll be perfectly fine. This is my review of the iWatch. Thanks for watching, and bye!